Hello, it's Sean. Today I'm going to be working on a project. I'm going to make a, a terrain board. So this is a 2x2 picture frame. It's just white canvas. I want to texture it up though. Put some flock on it. So, what I've done is I've mixed up some spackle, some Elmer's glue, and a little bit of paint. Got it fairly decent consistency. I'm going to spread it around on this canvas and use this to add some texture to the canvas. Um, once that's done, uh, then I'll do some flock, maybe put some rocky places on it. But This is kind of the starting point. Not done this before, but I'm going to give it a try. Uh, so here we go. So my spackle mix is dried. Uh, I'm going to paint this now. I've got this craft paint from, uh, I think I picked it up at Walmart. It's Apple Barrel acrylic paint. I'm using Burnt Umber, which is just a dark brown. Uh, I'm going to go over this whole canvas, paint it all, get a good solid coat on there, and then I'll dry brush. Alright, so I've got a couple of coats of the burnt umber on this canvas. Uh, next up, I'm going to use a tan. Uh, again, just cheap craft paint, but this time I'm going to dry brush it on to uh, kind of get the texture a little bit more visible, uh, give a little bit of variation to the, uh, the coloration on the board. Again, just mixing up a little bit of variation on the colors. I'm going to use this uh, Territorial Beige. And now I'm going to use some Khaki. And last I'm going to use Light Mocha. Alright, so you can see a little bit of variation in the color. I'm going to try to get a little closer so you can see it better. I don't know if this is going to show you better, but there is some, some good variation in the color. A little bit of texture. You can see lines, kind of where the brush strokes are. After I start adding flock to this, a lot of this is going to get hidden, so I'm not really that worried. And if you go out in the outside, you will see lines in the dirt anyway, so uh, I'm not really that worried about it. I think it looks good. Hopefully when I add the flock, it'll really uh, add a lot of variation to this. Uh, and really make it pop. So that's going to be next is we're going to gl be gluing down uh, different colors of flock. Next up I'm going to add some flock to this board. I have three different colors of flock that I'm going to use. I have Woodland Scenics Fine Turf Green Grass, Woodland Scenics Blended Turf Earth Blend, and Gale Force 9 Dirt Flock Foundation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread a little bit of glue on some places, sprinkle on a little bit of this dirt flock foundation, then sprinkle on a little bit of uh, the earth blend, and finally I'll cover the area with the green grass. I've used this on a lot of bases and I like the way it looks. Uh, I'm not sure with the bigger area exactly how it's going to turn out, but I'm pretty sure it'll be, uh, be just fine.
Alright, so I've completed my board. Uh, I've added a little bit of terrain here just so you can see how it looks when it's done. Uh, this is all removable, so I can set it up in different ways. Uh, the flock on the board uh, adds some, a little bit of color variation. I think it'll work really nicely for a couple different games. It'll work for different scales. Uh, this is a two foot by two foot board, so that is the limitation. But if I do some more, I can put them all together and use this for all of them to make a bigger board. Uh, overall, I'm very happy with how it turned out. Uh, I didn't do clumps of rock or anything. It's just textured with the... Uh, spackle and then uh, the flock is uh, on it so it's uh, my first board like this on the the canvas uh, it's a two foot by two foot canvas that you got or I got at a Hobby Lobby or Michaels or one of those places uh, it, but overall again I'm, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out so if you like this video you can give it a thumbs up if you have any questions or comments about the process that I went through you can uh, put those in the comment section below and if you want to see more videos like this and the other projects that I work on you can subscribe to my channel thanks for watching